Hi friends, it's Mrs. Hart. Today's story is called A House for Hermit Crab and it's by Eric Carl. And Eric Carl is the same author that wrote the book, The Very Hungry Caterpillar, which we've read before, and Dream Snow, which we read um, around the holidays. So the first thing we wanna do when we're reading a book is take a look at the front cover, okay? If we look up at the title, it says A House for Hermit Crab. The title can tell us a lot about a story. So this title tells me that this book might be about a hermit crab in his house. And then the author's name is Eric Carl. And in this book, Eric Carl is also the illustrator. So the author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. And in this case, Eric Carl does both. Have you ever heard of a hermit crab before? Have you ever seen one? Yeah, hermit crabs are a type of invertebrate and they're actually closer to a lobster than a real crab. But a lot of people like to keep hermit crabs as pets. So you can go to the pet store a lot of times and find, find a type of hermit crab. There's about 800 different species of hermit crabs, but the ones you usually get in the pet store are called land hermit crabs. So they usually spend their time on coastlines so in between where the salt water meets the shore. And so those are the kinds that you can find the pet store. One of the sad things about keeping hermit crabs as pets is they actually don't have babies very good when they're in captivity, so when they're out of the ocean. So if pet stores wanna have hermit crabs to sell, then they usually have to go out into the wild to collect them to sell. And that's not a very sustainable practice which means it's not a very good thing for the crab species in the long term. So it could be, it could cause them to be endangered or extinct at some point. So these kinds of, of animals are best just left in the wild. And here we can read a great story about one. Another cool thing about hermit crabs is that part of their exoskeleton is actually soft. And so hermit crabs have to find a shell to make as their home. And as they grow, they have to get new shells, kind of like you have to get new clothes as you grow. So after you have grown a little bit, your old clothes start to feel a little tight and you have to buy another size up. That's kind of like what hermit crabs have to do. They have to move out of one shell into a bigger shell as they grow. So maybe a hermit crab will start out in a, sh a small shell this size, in a small shell this size, and have to move up to a bigger shell and a bigger shell as they get bigger and older. And hermit crabs are, will sometimes form lines when they're finding new shells. So a small hermit crab will wait until a bigger hermit crab moves out of his shell and this one will wait until the one in front of it moves. And sometimes they can have lines up to 20 hermit crabs long, just waiting for the right shell to fit into. And that's kind of what this story is about, a house for hermit crab. He's looking for the perfect size shell to fit into. Another challenge that hermit crabs face is they sometimes mistake discarded plastics or plastics that have been thrown away um, that might have found their way into the ocean, they mistake those for shells. So they'll climb inside what they think is a shell, but might be um, like a lid from a Coke bottle or any kind of other plastic trash that we humans throw away. And they'll, they'll get in there and then they it's too slippery and they can't get out or they get trapped inside and they end up dying inside of our plastic trash. And this is also bad for other hermit crabs because they send off a special signal or a scent when they pass away that signals to other hermit crabs that that shell, which isn't really a shell, is available. And then more hermit crabs come to try out that shell. Then they might get stuck and trapped as well. That's just another reason why it's so important to cut down on using single use plastics and making sure to recycle and picking up our litter and our waste because our animal friends can really use our help. 
So this here is a globe. And if we take a look, we can see that this is where we live in North America. And then down here is South America. Now, the hermit crab that we see in a lot of pet stores here is from this region in the Western Atlantic Ocean. And you can find them in Southern Florida, the Bahamas, Venezuela, Belize, the West Indies, and the Virgin Islands. And those are the ones that are most commonly sold here in North America. They're known as the Caribbean hermit crab or purple pinchers. And these crabs are omnivorous scavengers, which means they eat both plants and animals. And scavengers means a lot of times they'll eat scraps from what other animals eat. Now that you have a little bit of background knowledge on the hermit crab in the story, um, we're also gonna talk about calendars today. We have just started a new year, 2021, so we're in the first month of the year, which is January. And then January has 31 days in the month. Not every month has 31 days, but January does. The next month after the 31 days is over is going to be February, okay? And then we're gonna go through 12 different months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. You'll notice in this book, A House for Hermit Crab, the hermit crab goes through 12 months as well. Let's take a look inside. Some of that beautiful artwork done by Eric Carle. So here we have the title page, A House for Hermit Crab. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean. But it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new house soon. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looked so, well, so plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain, it needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the sea floor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to help make my house more beautiful? I would, cracked a crusty coral. Gingerly, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. June, Hermit Crab came to a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They grazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hardworking you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. In August,
August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into a forest of seaweed. It is so dark here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, murmured the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish darting through the dark water. How bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up our house? I would, replied one lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, answered the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked them up one by one with his claw and built a wall around his shell. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell seemed a bit too small. Little by little over the year, Hermit Crab had grown. Soon he would have to find another bigger home. But he had come to love his friends, the sea anemone, the starfish, the coral, the sea urchin, the snail, the lanternfish, and even the smooth pebbles. They have been good, so good to me, thought Hermit Crab. They are like a family. How can I ever leave them? In December, a smaller Hermit Crab passed by. I have outgrown my shell, she said. Would you know of a place for me? I have outgrown my house too, answered Hermit Crab. I must move on. You are welcome to live here, but you must promise to be good to my friends. I promise, said the little crab. The following January, Hermit Crab stepped out and the little crab moved in. Couldn't stay in the little shell forever, said Hermit Crab as he waved goodbye. The ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered, but Hermit Crab wasn't afraid. Soon he spied the perfect house, a big empty shell. It looked, well, a little plain, but sponges, he thought. Barnacles, clownfish, sand dollars, electric eels. Oh, there are so many possibilities. I can't wait to get started. I hope you enjoyed the book, A House for Hermit Crab by Eric Carle. I think that this book is a great reminder of Sometimes things seem scary or overwhelming at first when they're new, but learning to take risks and face your fears, even when it's uncomfortable, can result in a beautiful journey full of making new friends and seeing new things and exploring new opportunities. So I hope you have a great year full of making new friends just like Hermit Crab.